I should have brought my list. I I made a list of um, how every in my life how the gang stalking was made aware to me, and how everything unfolded. I mean, I had to make a list because so much stuff went on in the year last year and a half. I didn't even know I was a, a, a gang stalk victim. I, I I I knew vaguely about TIs. I I just thought it was so bizarre that people could be so stupid. To gang, I mean, the gang stalk the government. I mean, to, to be so dumb to gang stalk people. And then I realized after everything happened that it's because we're basically entering the last days. They don't normally, a government won't normally go that far unless they're ready to complete it. Because, you know, we know that if prosecutions were to happen, they'd be completely removed. If I'm a mayor and there's, and the stuff's going on underneath my, you know, you, you get the idea. And I should have brought, I had a whole, I have like a whole list of like 17 things. And I think I even left some stuff out. It all went down. And how the voice of God rescued me every time. It's amazing. So, I'll, I'll go for memory and I'll make a better version. It's just good to update. And, you know, um, gang stalking, in case for those that don't know, is a secret police program the government of America, and well, worldwide, but let's focus on America, has been a secret police program that the taxpayers' money has been going to a black program, which is completely illegal. Or you have the government stalking, terrorizing the public just to beta test to see how the system works so they can roll this out on the entire public in the near, near future. And I think it's... Uh, It's been growing since like the last couple of years. It it's actually it has grown. Um, so I had a friend that had died of a heart attack, and she was an organ donor. Her brother showed me her Facebook account, and there was all these nurses on her Facebook account, friends on Facebook that were saying some strange comments like, "Enjoy your vacation that's coming up," and she had no vacation planned. Then when she died, they were like, one, two, three, blast off. Stuff, just creepy comments like that. Her brothers were like, you know, upset. So then, I'm at a red light. And uh, actually, I uploaded a video of my ex-girlfriend. because She has some anomaly on her face. And I uploaded it as a reptilian hybrid video, a reptilian lizard person. And then, I was at a red light. And a truck pulls up. Runs over to my car door, tries to open my car door, and tries to get to me. Then I call 911 three times and in a row because they answer, no one says anything, and then they hang up. Three times in a row. Within a 20 minute span, my friend that was with me was even like, you know, that's strange. And then I went to uh, Mercy Hospital in Hillcrest, San Diego, for an asthma attack. And I told them I was dying. I felt like I was going to die. And it took them four hours to get me back to see a doctor. And then the doctor gave me an IV that was making me sicker and sicker and sicker. So then I had a, a, a voice in my head popped in. I believe it was the voice of God. told me to get up and go. I did. Because I was dying. And then I got up and went. And I got better in hours. Completely better in three days. And then... I noticed some strange rice material in my apartment, all over the place, rice looking material. And I was getting bit by something at night, mosquito, bed bug, something. So my friends had put shipping tape down, I did. And this strange rice material was stuck in all the shipping tape. And there was no fans blowing or anything. Then I said, I had my camcorder, and I pointed it at the condos. I said, I believe it's coming from these creepy people in these condos. As I'm saying this, Six huge guys in suits run out to the platform, and they're sweating bricks. They're freaking out, and they're pointing over at the window at me, basically, and they're just freaking out. Now I got this strange material. I'm, 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 I'm blaming them for it, and they're coming. They're, they're rushing out, in my opinion, to come over and get me. But now I'm filming them, so they weren't expecting that, so they stopped. I uploaded the video to YouTube, and it's on YouTube, but it freezes. I uploaded two more videos, they both freeze, and then within 30 minutes my entire channel froze. For 12 hours, my channel never froze. This is all happening at one time. And you gotta imagine the white stuff in the shipping tape, I filmed the condos, 
I see it's coming from there, and they come running out. Because they were running out to get me, I believe, and they froze when the camera was on them. Then, an hour or two hours later, a guy in a suit pulls up. He's sweating bricks. And, and the voice in my head again said, he has a gun. He's coming to kill you. He just sat in his car because my brother went out into the driveway and was washing out a trash can for like 20 minutes, unaware of the situation. I go away for two days to a friend's house. I come back. There's 13 cop cars across the street. Then I had a flashback. Last time I saw 13 cop cars, I was taking care of my aunt's house downstairs, and there was all these cops surrounding my aunt's house, shining flashlights in the windows. And when I threw my shoes on, I went to go to the door to ask them what they were doing. They had they had they were already they had gone in their car and just took off. And then I prayed about it. Of course, you go to God when tragedy 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 hits, and I and I pray about it. And I end up, the voice of God told me to search for this material. So I start searching for it, and I find something else, and it tells me to look into this instead. And then I find out that they're basically giving everybody in the Bible, which is called the Eucharist, or they're forcing us to eat the Eucharist. Everybody, worldwide. The Eucharist is going to lead to the mark of the beast. I'll say it that way. And how to see this stuff. So I get this device and I'm able to see it. I make my first video. And within 10 minutes, 7 minutes, a black helicopter is flying over my studio apartment. In circles. Black helicopter aggressively hovering, trying to intimidate me. So I know now I know this stuff is real. Reptilian people are real because this is how everything started. My friend got her organs sold. The people in the condos are spying on me inside my apartment. All this that I didn't even was even aware of. They kept stepping into the booby trap. God has been setting them up for traps. The biggest traps yet to come. But so uh, what else happened? So then the stuff in the shipping tape. I said I made a video. I said get this stuff out of my apartment, or I'm going. I'm gonna go tell everybody about this stuff. Uh, science labs. This white rice material within a week was completely out of my apartment gone I have it in shipping tape still in different places but um, then I show someone how to see this stuff I go to her office and she she basically I can there's our faces were different I had this device thing and I realized that she was in on it she wasn't human and I think she showed me on purpose because she knew, but I didn't know, that they were going to come and try and kill me the same night. So I go home from her office. There's these two huge military guys in the condos, and they're just mad-dogging me, basically. So then I uh, that night, I hear someone creeping around the yard. My brother's staying the night. I call 911. The cops come out. They, they shine their flashlight on the side of my studio, but they won't go behind my studio where, where I believe the perpetrators are at. The cop tells the other cop, he kind of goes, shh, and then and they both sneak off, they don't say bye, they just, he just goes, shh, and I'm watching from the window do this, and they just take off, and they don't say anything, I call again, the second time, they hang up on me, I call a third time, the third time, I call, while the phone's ringing to 911, a voice hacks into the phone, and says, no one's basically going to help you tonight, you're basically doomed. Basically says that you're doomed. No one's gonna help you. My brother heard that and goes, "What is that?" And I said, "I told you, there's something going on here." So the police came out. 